On the left, I have a contract with hundreds of lines of code and I don't know what it does. On the right, I have a graphical representation of this contract. It shows the functions that are declared in this contract and how each function calls into other functions. It also shows how it connects to other contracts. So in this video, I'm going to show you a VS Code extension that allows you to visualize your smart contracts. So the first thing that we'll need is to install the VS Code extension. So I'll click on this extension logo and then search for Solidity. The VS Code extension that we're going to install is called Solidity Visual Developers. Click on it and hit install. After you install the extension, open the contract. For this example, we will open Uniswap v3 pool contract and open the command palette by hitting Control shift v and then type Surya, S-U-R-Y-A. To generate a graph for this contract that we have open, we'll execute the command call graph for active editor. On the right, you'll see a graph pop up. Let's take a look at this graph. I'll zoom in. Notice that you can see some circles and some lines. Some lines are white and other ones are green. Each circle represents a function and each arrow means that a function is calling into another function. For example, here you see the function mint and the arrow points to a function called balance zero. This means that inside the mint function, it's calling another function called balance zero. The green arrow means that it is an internal call, whereas the white arrow means that it is an external call to another contract. So if I zoom out and follow one of the white arrows, you can see that the white arrows are calling a library called tickmath and ticks. This also applies to external contracts. You can also click on a function. For example, I'll click on the function swap and notice that only the functions that are called by the swap are highlighted. So for example, the swap function calls balance one and balance one, if I follow it, calls static call. Let's take a look at another example. If I click on the function flash, then I can see that it calls into internal functions balance zero, balance one, flash, and iUniswap b3 flash callback. It also has some white arrows, meaning that it is calling an external contract or a library contract. And you can see here that it is calling some simple functions like add, add, safe transfer, moldiv, and moldiv rounding up. And to close the graph, just click on the X's and also close this file as well. Don't say so that was a quick video about a BS code extension that allows you to visualize a smart contract. Thanks for watching.